So today we're going to be talking about some of the uh, trends we've seen uh, coming out of the Mobile World Congress uh, 2013. Uh, we've seen uh, two new operating systems uh, showcased. Uh, so one of them is uh, Firefox OS. Uh, we've seen this on uh, market-ready devices uh, from both Alcatel and uh, ZTE. And uh, this uh, operating system is really aimed at the lower-end devices in, in terms of specs and prices, and as such, it will be uh, primarily aimed at uh, consumers who are switching to smartphones in emerging markets in Latin America and then making its way into Western Europe as well. The other uh, major mobile operating system we're seeing uh, coming out is uh, Tizen 2.0. Uh, so uh, while this is a bit of a broader application spectrum uh, in terms of prices, uh, it was not really showcased on any market-ready devices, only developer uh, f uh, phones. Uh, still, uh, France Orange Telecom has promised to bring these uh, devices uh, to, the mar to the French market by uh, 2013. We're likely to see uh, more countries included in that rollout in 2014. Uh, the primary difference between them is this application spectrum. So Tizen is really going to be uh, aimed at a variety of uh, devices across the pricing spectrum include most likely both phones as well as tablets. Uh, and really on the hardware front we're seeing a lot of the uh, lines between the phones and tablets uh, blurring. Uh, over 2012 uh, we've seen a lot of phones coming out with larger and larger screens. Uh, now we're seeing um, telephony features being included into smaller tablets. So we're seeing a lot of uh, communication centric uh, smaller tablet products uh, coming out. Uh, one of them is the Asus PhonePad, uh, which is an Intel-powered tablet that also allows consumers to make phone calls. Uh, so we're going to be uh, seeing a lot of this uh, convergence between smartphones and tablets over 2013, uh, continuing uh, with similar launches most likely coming from uh, other producers.